self-nomination of a Nobel Prize in Physics to my simple character, Romano Amodeo. It's unusual that uh, one body do its uh, own uh, self-nomination by a Nobel Prize in physics. This is the motivation to have unified the physics, one having unified the matters and the antimatters masses, and two having unified their energies. I consider myself only a character, and uh, the character that uh, can have also the Nobel Prize in physics is uh, only a puppet of uh, the divine design. First reason, having unified the matters and antimatters masses. The mass is unitary one because its number one is counted as n raised to plus one times n raised to minus one times. That is equal to one. Here, the power n rise to plus one is the unitary expansion of one made by the inverse n rise to minus one that is its equal and the inverse unitary amassing since we perceive in equal and inverse way n rise to minus one equal to the antimatter is perceived as n rise to plus one, like the matter. And so, the one expansion of the antimatter is the matter's number perceived in its one amassing. Now, since we perceive the unit as one cycle, in which the two inverses appear both, one after and added to the other, while both are one only in their product, we perceive as the matter, as the antimatter. The first as the up of its real wave, the second as the down of the same real wave. So every real one cycle appears as presence of water's matter mass plus its absence as matter's presence so appear in the up of the wave as matter's absence equal to the antimatter in the down of the wave. The presence plus one as uh, nine raised plus two plus one and the absence minus one as nine uh, as an n raised to minus one and n raised to plus one plus n rise to minus 1, when n equal 10 by convention, the convention of two centuries ago, when uh, every unit of the physics was compelled to the 10 cycle, when uh, n is equal 10 by convention, the sum, the addition of n raised to plus 1 plus n raised to minus 1 appears really as 10 
plus one tenth and equal to ten point one. To say appears really means that it appears also in the weight of the atomic mass. In fact, also in the weight of the water's wave, if the unitary up is of nine units equal to nine, and its inverse down is nine rise to minus one, that is the inverse power equal to zero point one 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 one. The one cycle is nine point one 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 one, but it is nine only the up of the matter's presence. Therefore, Romano Modeo's character affirms that the real measurement of 9.10938 at the sites of 10 rise to minus 31 kilograms of the electron mass is rarely measured in its one cycle 10 and it is only 9 units in the matters one presence in 10. Since 9 rise to minus 1 is the matters absence equal to the antimatter. Therefore, it is a true misunderstanding to add the antimatter's decimal quantity to the electron, which is the particle only of the matter. To correct the true quantity of the matter, today wrongly attributed to the particles of matter, is certainly worthy of a Nobel Prize in physics. Now, the Romano Modeo characters is mine, but I do not attribute these characters worthy to my ability and my intelligence, but only to the providence that attributed it to myself. If Romano Modeo, considering the one cycle 10 as one divided 9 raised to minus 1 equal to 1 multiplied 9, perceived as 1 plus 9 equal to 10 units, he understand, understands 1 10 and 1 tenth as the two inverse and absolute quantities of the unit and he sees that also one ninth equal to zero point one 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 is absolute one being a really infinite number of a single and absolute tenth. So if nine is unitarily defined as ten minus one, also nine rise to minus one equal to zero point one 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 must be unitarily defined being infinite. So zero point one zero nine three eight nine seven five four the decimal unit of the one cycle nine point one zero nine three eight nine seven five four 
is the absolute 0.11111 less its own x relative unit. By consequence, Romano Modeus Characters affirms since 0 point point one 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 less zero point one zero nine three eight nine seven five four is zero point zero zero one seven two one three five seven one the x real unit of the ten absolute tenths of 9 raised to minus 1 is 0 0.0017213571 its real size in the antimatter mass of the positron the antimatter particle of the atom is 0 0.1093897540 at the size of 10 rise to minus 31 kilograms. Since the electron mass is 9 units in 10 and the positron's mass is 0. 1093897540 units in one ninth equal to ten tenths the real product of this antimatter by the nine matter is zero point nine eight four five zero seven seven eight six and the latching to 1 is the 0 0.0154922 meaning the real geometrical bonds and now we can see it matters 0 Point zero 0.01 is the unit of the absolute area 10 raised to 2 of the real flow equal to its 10 raised to minus 2 matters 0 0.0054 is the unit of the candela intensity 1 of the light as 10 rise to minus 4 units of 10 rise to 4 reality matters 0 0.00009 are the 10 minus 1 energies of 1 at the electric or magnetic side 10 rise to minus 5 as referred to 1 meter. Meter 0 0.000022 are the 10 plus 1, that is the existence 1 of the 10 cycle, complex 1, going from minus 11 to plus 11, at sides matters 10 rise to minus 7 equal to 10 cubed atomic units and so as uh, the atomic unitary mass matters 0 0.0014 times 10 rise to minus 9 is the full movement 10 of the four dimensions of the space-time reality at the 10 cycle atomic of 10 
rise to minus 9 meters size. Therefore, the Romano Modeus characters has discovered all the causes of this real one wave of mass appearing as uh, the complex 9.1093897543 times 10 rise to minus 31 kilograms. Also this size of 10 rise to minus 31 kilograms has its precise bond in kilogram. And uh, so Romano Modeo explain it. In fact, the unitary speed is one meter every second, if meter and second are one to one. Since 10 is the unitary cycle in line of one mass, it is absolute one when it is exactly 10 rise to 10 meters and when 10 rise to 10 meters every second is the absolute speed of 1 meter squared. But when the absolute section has the 10 cycle as its side, so 10 rise to 2 meters squared, the speed is 10 times less because the space moved is of 10 rise to 8 meters every second. Since the unitary space exists as the volume whose 1 meter of side is 3 dimensional, a trinity of sides is moved in uh, one second. So the speed is three times 10 rise to 8 meters every second. It is the speed of 10 rise to 2 meters squared, in which the mass unit is meters squared in the unitary dimension of 10 rise to minus 2 and so one only meter squared of mass. Therefore, one meter squared full of mass is of 10 rise to 20 atomic masses in the section of one meter squared and is 10 rise to 11 in the unitary line of the flow that is 10 as space and 1 as time. So that 10 rises to 20 as the section multiplied by 10 rises to 11 in the flow and so the volume of 10 rises to 31 which being unitary mass are kilograms and so 10 rise to 31 kilograms is the whole unit of the mass and consequently 10 rise to the inverse minus 31 kilograms is only one particle as electron multiplied by positron in their inverse masses. So Romano Modeo character has corrected the same idea of what is unitary one, saying that in the nature the unit is shown like in every real wave that shows both the two inversions. One matter appears as multiple of one. The other, the antimatter, appears as the submultiple of the one, which the submultiple is appearing as a decimal quantity, 
at the exact sides perfectly referred to the unitary sizes of a meter, second, kilogram, the seven units of the international system. Romano Modelo's character has discovered as 1 to 9 of the unitary tensacle is the one of the mass, as 2 on 8 the times unit, as 3 on 7 the spaces unit, as 4 on 6 the real flows unit, as 5 on 5 the thermic unit, as 7 on 4 the moles unit, as 7 on 3 the electromagnetic intensity unit, as 8 on 2 the complex reality unit, as 9 on 1 the energy unit, as 10 on 0 the absolute cycle unit, as 11 on 1 the absolute space 10 plus its tenth time cycle. Second reason for this Nobel Prize. Romano Amodeo's character has unified the E, the energies, by this formula. E equal M multiplied 9 E equal to the centripetal massing of 1 M mass that is multiplied by the nine versors of the space, in which the A centrifugal expansion in one meter every second squared, in one meter squared every second squared, is of 10 raised to 10 as the absolute movement, multiplied 10 raised to 3 the atomic mass unit multiplied by 10 raised to 3, the atomic inverse mass unit, a product equal to 10 raised to 17th. Romano Modeo character affirms that while one mass exists as the plus 10 cycle that is unitarily amassed, adding a minus 9 units of vacuum, and so plus 10 plus minus 9 is 1, the 9 positive versor, versors are the unit of the 9 ninth equal 1 between plus 9 and minus 9 that in its addition is a zero of latching balance. So the one mass is unitarily balanced exactly by nine spaces versors in which the atomic matter mass of 10 raised to 3, multiplying the 10 raised to 3 inverse, is of 10 raised to 6 atomic units, that's advancing unitarily of 1 meter equal to 10 raised to 10 atomic units, exists as 10 raised to 17th in the unitary section of one meter squared every second squared. So, the energy equal 9 is 1 as 1 mass equal 10 minus 9 multiplied 9 A expansions 10 raised to 17th meter squared every second squared of what is reduced of 9 since 9 times 
9 raised to minus 1 is 1. Romano Modeo Charatter says what is Lechking in the general relativity of Einstein? In the E equal mc2, different from E equal m9e, nine amassment in one line as 10 minus 9 equal 1, multiplied by 9 expansion in the triple 3 area of 9 unitary versors, in the equation of Einstein, the C2, electromagnetic expansion in one only line, is less of the atomic explosion of the mass in three component lines and the two opposite advancements. The unitary speed of 10 raised to 8 meters every second in one only direction of the tree of the space must exist interacting in two electromagnetic directions and exactly proceeding by the, non, by the nine total versors of the space. In few words, the Romano Amadeus simple character merits its Nobel Prize in physics, having truly unified it. So, I do the nomination of my puppet to a Nobel Prize in physics.